Hello, welcome to the Hackers Club, powered by Cyber Sapiens United LLP. So, cyber security. That's the reason you are here for, right? So, the first thing that we have to understand is why cyber security. Before understanding what is cyber security, how cyber security works, let's first understand why is that we need something called cyber security so the answer to why we need cyber security is that because of the cyber attacks that are happening today and data breaches that are happening so data breach is an outcome of cyber attack uh, so apart from data breach there happens to be a lot of other outcomes as well so majorly we are worried about uh, data breach so why cyber security because there are cyber attacks that are happening which is leading to data breach now what happens with this data breach or uh, cyber attack what is the issue so the first thing is the data is stolen and then it is sold okay data is stolen when when a cyber attack happens data is stolen and then data is sold or data is accessed and it is modified or altered okay so data is modified or altered um, like uh, you know you have your uh, account okay bank account now everything is digitalized uh, even the banking system is completely digitalized so you can you know any any attacker uh, accesses the uh, banking system and um, makes the uh, amount more or less okay it will have a huge impact or else like let's consider that you are a student okay you get access to your uh, college system or college server and you try to modify your marks or your attendance very benefit for you right so data is accessed and then it is modified or altered the third thing is data is made unavailable okay data is made unavailable so majorly these are the three things which uh, happens because of a cyber attack so data is made unavailable unavailable means like uh, let's assume that um, uh, you know flipkart uh, flipkart website flipkart website is down completely okay some hackers hack into the Flipkart server and makes it completely go down. Even if, if Flipkart goes down for like five minutes, okay, just for five minutes, if Flipkart goes down, then they will have and law. Uh, they will have a loss of, you know, we can't just imagine it could be in lakhs or crores or in billions, especially uh, during the time of um, they are. Uh, uh, big billion sales okay so the data is made unavailable or the data is modified or the data is stolen these are the uh, three uh, you know things that happens with cyber attack and uh, who gets impacted with this cyber attack who gets impacted it's basically the users and who are the users users like you and me okay we are the end users like we use flipkart we use swiggy we use online banking system you use online banking system you use smartphone today you have an email id today right so you and me we are the ones who gets affected apart from that there are organizations companies that gets affected banks you know financial institutions uh, uh, institutions like colleges schools government so everyone gets impacted uh, these also gets impacted however at the end if you see it's you and me who would get impacted okay like talking about government if someone hacks into uh, our other system and you know steals the other data and they sell it somewhere uh, at the end it's your or it's ours data that is been sold right and we get impacted with that okay so uh, this is why this is the reason why we need uh, cyber security okay and uh, what is the reason 
what is the reason why uh, cyber security or uh, you know uh, sorry why the cyber attacks are happening what is the reason the reason is data okay uh, now when i say data uh, we have to understand that in today's in today's digital world in today's digital world data is called as the new oil okay which means which means the data has a value okay data has a value and it's because data has a value cyber attacks are happening and data is being stolen modified okay so the, we have gold right in the same way we have data today we have petrol or the oil same way we have data today which has a huge value and you you just need a a laptop or a desktop and an internet connection to make money you don't have to go out you don't have to be at any place sitting in your own at your own uh, house with a internet connection and your system you can make money okay so this is the reason it's because data and data has a value and there are different types of data we will discuss that uh, in the in the coming slides about the different types of data and so on so coming back to our uh, cyber attack part okay i was saying cyber attack has become very common okay every day there happens to be some or the other um, a cyber attack and like it has become very very common because data as i said data has a value you know and uh, everyone is behind the data uh, and for that they have to do the attack so if you look at the uh, real time uh, scenario okay so uh, this is one 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 uh, site here uh, for live cyber threat map you can see here that continuously attacks are happening you know from us to um you know it's argentina from australia israel south korea from everywhere and um, uh, for today the the attack that happened today is somewhere 23 lakhs uh, sorry it's not uh, 23 lakhs it's 2 crore 35 lakhs 32840 okay so that's the number of attacks that have happened today if you look at another uh, site from fortigard Uh, the one we checked now is from checkpoint okay uh, this one is from fortigard so if you look at this again uh, uh, let me open the other one as well from uh, fireeye this is another uh, threat map so if you look at this side again these are all real time attacks that are happening so if you see attack is happening from everywhere so we are here in india and uh, you know i were not able to right now no attacks we can see here but most of the attacks are on us mexico netherlands india india i could just see india there okay the reason why it's most of uh, you know most of the uh, attacks happen uh, to on us is that most of the servers are are uh, in the us country uh, like it could be facebook google apple most of these are us based countries and that's the reason um uh, most of the attacks happen on the uh, us uh, uh, like amazon uh, like amazon we 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 could take amazon that is also on the in the us country so us is common and if you look at the uh, third one here again um showing us the uh, time as well and uh, as per this particular site it sh- it says that there are 6,21,872 attacks that are happening from us to you know um vietnam uh, colombia from germany and everywhere okay so you can just refer these uh, sites that are mentioned here there are a lot more sites uh, where you can check the real time attack so attacks are very common cyber attacks are happening every day and that's why we need cyber security today okay uh, so looking at the older attacks if we see you know uh, some some older attacks so we have been uh, we know about yahoo right so yahoo was like google uh, some years back you know like 10 years back yahoo was like google okay today's generation uh, do not know about yahoo uh, because 
you know it's it doesn't exist right so what is the reason that uh, yahoo doesn't exist today the reason is yahoo had a cyber attack okay in 2014 they had a cyber attack hackers stole nearly 500 million users data back in 2014 however yahoo announced their first details about the attack in 2016 so the attack happened in 2014 itself and slowly slowly people started uh, stopping using yahoo okay and the and, and this cyber attack uh, you know uh, we we can't imagine the impact that this cyber attack on yahoo has made and the impact is that today we have google okay one of the reason why why google gained popularity is because people shifted from yahoo to google if you see so yahoo also had the same features like it had a search engine it had a, a email service okay however their search engine was a bit uh, uh, you know messed up compared to google okay google just came up with a small search bar that's it they had they had email services it was the the uh, services that google provided was similar to yahoo because yahoo had a huge impact they their customers lost trust okay and uh, that's the reason we have google and from google we have today android we have google maps we have uh, so many so many things from google and this revolution happened because yahoo had a cyber attack maybe if yahoo hadn't had a cyber attack it would you know today google would not have been reached to this extent okay it might have reached also we can't uh, say it uh, you know to the 100% however it's just an assumption because it could have taken more time for google because google would have had a competition okay and yahoo was a big competitor that time and because you know because of the cyber attack google did not have any competition it, it became very easy for the company to grow all right so if you look at the risk and impact of this cyber attack okay uh, the impact is financial loss and reputational loss okay so that's what it happened with yahoo reputation went off people started losing trust and because of that they lost their customer and this resulted in the financial loss so financial loss and reputational loss these are the majorly uh, impact of a cyber attack okay so this is just about one there are a lot more uh, to discuss uh, apart from yahoo however if you look at an another thing like you know that happens with the cyber attack is a uh, very important thing to to discuss and to understand is cyber warfare this is the new thing that's happening okay uh, cyber warfare is like you know is where cy uh, cyber attacks only happen but this happens over a different space so when countries fight with each other okay with a with a political agenda it is called as cyber warfare earlier so earlier when the world war happened uh country side used missiles bombs you know to to attack another country but it is said that in in the cyber space you know countries would be just using their systems and internet um, to make an attack okay and this is called as cyber warfare and it, this has already began okay there is this uh, malware called as <coughs> stuxnet so stuxnet is called as the world's first cyber weapon which uh, was of around 150 to 200 kb size okay it was uncovered in 2010 in the iran nuclear power plant so iran had a nuclear power plant and uh, uh, you know it it was gaining more power so it is said that it is said that us did this attack on iran because they did not wanted iran to gain 
become more powerful because having nuclear power plant nuclear power means the the country becomes more powerful which the uh, us country did not wanted and that's the reason they made this attack and um, this malware stuxnet did not use internet to travel around okay so it from from us to that power plant it did not use internet or to get inside the network it did not use internet this is the fun fact about this particular attack uh, how this attack happened was the hackers or the, or, or the attackers they copied the stuxnet malware in a pen drive and they threw it outside of the uh, power plant okay um, so this type of attack is called as baiting attack in social engineering so this is a type of social engineering attack we will cover social engineering for you uh, where we will teach you how to hack into instagram and social media accounts and all however that is not used uh, or that will not be helpful for you um, for your career but yeah for your knowledge that will be covered okay so yeah uh, what happened they threw the pen drive outside the power plant and um, you know they the security guard over there he picked it up went in plugged into his system monitor which was which he had for the cctv camera okay and uh, from there the malware went in to the entire power plant and one more thing is at that time there was no segregation of network so entire uh, uh, power plant was under same network where the uh, security guards system was connected to the same network which was in the connected to the main server also so what this malware did was it changed the speed of the uh, fans so there were these uh, fans if you can see in the screen here these are the uh, centrifugal fans that had to rotate at a particular speed to generate a particular nuclear energy so this is part of chemistry okay so as you know in the chemistry if some some slight changes happens you know some if you do certain modifications then the result would be different so you have to put accurate number of uh, quantity of the uh, chemicals so that the you get the right reaction so this changed the speed of the fans and because of that the uh, uh, it generated some different nuclear um, energy okay and uh, until they lost their 95% of the uh, power plant uh, machinery systems they were not aware of it because apart from changing the speed of the fan the malware uh, also modified the report and made it look like everything is working fine the reports that they had to generate no every day it looked very normal so it also changed the reports as well okay um it was at the right time that they got to know however you know they they had to face a loss in billions and billions of dollars okay so that's about uh, stuxnet um, you know uh, which is called as the cyber weapon uh, and this is a example of cyber warfare and that's the reason today we have seen india is banning the chinese application okay india is not banned to take revenge from china for the covid Uh, virus that they have spread no it is to protect the indian cyber space from chinese okay if you have not heard uh, you can check it in the news last year there was a cyber attack on the maharashtra mumbai power grid and chennai power grid as well in chennai and mumbai and it is said that this attack was done by chinese mm. hackers okay so already cyber warfare is going on cyber warfare is going on okay and india is started to prepare and this is one of the step why why the uh, government has banned chinese applications okay because they get access to our data and uh, you know it's a different thing there we will discuss about that also at the end it's about data okay again understand it at the end it's about data nothing else okay so that's about cyber warfare apart from that if you look at the cyber attacks we have other system which 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 is said to be uh, hacked in 2018 the uidai system was hacked and 1.1 billion um the indian other card holders data was was breached there 
then there was a warner cry ransomware uh, malware you know that affected uh, 2 lakh 30 thousand uh, computers uh, microsoft computers in just 48 hours okay Uh, some of the top companies that got affected was Nissan, Renault, NHS, FedEx, and it was a WannaCry ransomware uh, made a huge impact around the uh, around the globe at that time. The uh, Adobe was uh, faced a cyber attack. Uh, eBay faced a cyber attack to, in 2014. There is this triple zero web host, Avast, Bitly. Canva, Domino's, Dropbox, Dub Smash, Dunzo, Gardi, Xigo, LinkedIn, Shein, Snapchat, Sony, Vodafone, Xiaomi. These are some of the companies which have faced a cyber attack in the recent days. I'm sure, I'm damn sure you might have, you might have an account with at least one of the companies that are mentioned here which have faced a cyber attack. So when these companies face a cyber attack <clears throat> okay will these attacks affect you is my question that i would like to ask okay will these attacks have an impact on you or me to understand this what we have to first check is the data okay so is your data valuable is your data valuable to understand this let's look at the different types of data that is associated with you and me so we have our name our address phone number email id qualification profession date of birth income details bank details passwords documents chats one on whatsapp or other platforms photos aadhar number aadhar is linked with everything today pan again connected with uh, uh, the financials interest our interest our hobby our likes and dislikes so these are some of the data that is associated with us okay and all of this data is valuable i'll tell you if i have this much data about you okay i can sell it and i can make money of at least minimum of 150 rupees i can sell it for minimum that is the minimum i i if i have all this i can sell it for at least 400 to 600 is what um is what has for the current market you have to sell it on the dark web so dark web is a different thing it's an it's an uh, uh, you know hidden internet it's like the chor bazaar now in delhi and mumbai and everywhere that you have that's where this data is sold okay so um, yeah these are the data which is associated with us and um, if you want to see if you want to see whether your data is stolen okay uh, on the cyber attacks that have happened with the companies or any other companies so there is this website which i would like you to check this is called as have i been pawned dot com you can access this website okay uh, so when 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 you when you uh, sorry uh, let me let me open this uh, website here so when you open this um, have i been pawn dot com uh, here you have to enter your email id and or or phone number okay let me try with my phone number uh, that's one of my official phone number so it says that it is not this phone number is not pawned what i'll do is let me use one of my email id one of my email id okay this is not my uh, only email id a lot of email id so one of my email id if i check here it shows that it is pawned and it's pawned in 13 data breaches okay so <clears throat> what happens i'll tell you let let's first understand what happens here okay so we register we connect to the internet and we register on various sites like facebook instagram nokri tinder etc and when we register we give a lot of our data 
okay we 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 provide our information for for registration and after registration also we provide a lot of data okay so all this data gets stored in something called as database okay so this database is connected to the internet and anyone like an attacker or a hacker who is connected to the internet can have access to this database and they can steal your data okay so that, that is what has happened here and in my 13 data breaches where uh, my email id has been on you see my, i had registered with big basket i had an account using this email id and big basket had a attack in october 2020 last year i uh, you might have heard about this so my date of birth email id ip address name password phone number physical address all these were compromised it was stolen canva had a cyber attack in 2019 um, digimon dub smash gari.com lumin pdf nitro and uh, zomato zoomka these are some of the companies where i had created an account using this particular email id they had a cyber attack okay and uh, you know our data is stolen all right so what happens with this if someone gets access to it what will they do they can perform attack on us like if if someone knows my date of birth it's date of birth is very sensitive data what that is what we have to understand okay so every data has a value as i said there is a there is a value for your date of birth for your phone number for your password and everything and and you know depending on this the attackers use it for performing further attacks it could be social engineering attacks or any type of attacks okay with this detail they can even try to hack into my social media or my banking system also all right one of the reason is most of the people use common passwords everywhere not me i don't use i use different passwords if you are using common passwords for everywhere especially for your social media and gmail please make sure you change it okay let that be very unique don't use same password everywhere that's not at all a good habit as you can see all of these is compromised you can check with your email id also okay and you have to be very careful and if you're thinking what to do if you have uh, you know if your account gets compromised you can't do anything it's gone you can't do anything literally you can't do anything only thing that you have to do is change your password immediately and uh, you can use different email id so yeah with 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 this particular thing data privacy has become a very very uh, uh, you know important topic today data privacy you might have heard about the whatsapp whatsapp privacy policy also data privacy and cyber security they are in the boom right now so data privacy means you know protecting our personal data you know personal data means this password email id date of birth all these things comes under personal data these are these are having very these are very much valuable okay this data is very much valuable so our data is been sold as i said for business for making money they say it is to make our life easier but it can make one's life worse if our data goes to a wrong person like if i know your date of birth if i know your email id if i know your uh address i can simply call you up with your phone number i can say hey, i am calling from so and so bank um your email id is this your date of birth is this your address is this with with this information when i provide to you you get a trust on me you you start trusting me okay and then i can manipulate you easily for youngsters it's slightly challenging but for the elders it's very 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 easy to do so we have to protect our data privacy and some of the tips i'll share you to protect your data privacy uh, use multiple email ids as i don't use one email id for your social media for a banking um, you know and for registering at different different sites and all use different different email ids don't give your data blindly to anyone be very careful especially with your date of birth and all if you go to a mall they ask your date of birth or they ask your email id give some dummy email id don't give or date of birth don't give your original one okay when you when you go to purchase some watch at a you know some stores or something or uh, uh, if you go to nike or adidas and all then they'll ask you for your date of birth if you go to dominos if you go to barbecue nation also they'll ask your uh, date of birth please make sure you don't give there because 
there's nothing like 100% security that's the reason okay use multiple names like don't use just one name uh, for for swiggy and all you can use different different names this is just to confuse the internet because today artificial intelligence and data science has uh, uh, and big data has uh, you know uh, they are, they are doing wonders and a profile is created about you like your email id your phone number your name they are associated with your likes dislikes your qualification and everything so if you have like in one side if you use one name mm -hmm. you can use different name there so that you are confusing mm -hmm. the uh, machine you are confusing the ai you are confusing the ml and the you know uh, big data there okay so this is just to confuse uh, you can use different names so i have different name at different different uh, websites that i register never upload your photos with your id card don't share a close up photo of your face or your hand that's very important keep a personal and a public mm -hmm. number okay don't 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 just use one number make sure you use a public uh, you know public number and a personal uh, private number don't give your personal number to anyone else uh, especially registering and all don't use don't use your public number in your banking systems okay don't use that that will again create a problem and uh, one more thing is when you're registering at a at a site like for this in this case it's a shiksha.com okay so when you register at shiksha.com uh, give your first name as your original name like either i give robin or robin this is or that's my name uh, in the last name you can mention the name of the website itself like in this case i'll say shiksha last name as shiksha okay so what will happen with this is that when shiksha sells your data because obviously shiksha the the one of the revenue from where shiksha earns uh, makes revenue is they sell your data to third part okay and when um, and and you can't do anything for that because before clicking on registering you will accept the terms of use and privacy i'm sure you might have never read any privacy policy so far if you haven't please make sure you read at least one or two websites privacy policy there somewhere in between clearly they would have stated we will use your data to further share with share it with our third party uh, vendors uh, it will be mentioned clear cut okay and you are accepting it so you can't do anything but with this method if you follow uh, when shiksha sells it to someone and they use it for marketing purpose like shiksha will definitely sell it to colleges and institutions and tuition center they'll in return start messaging you or start calling you or if someone you know hacks into their database when they reach out to you you will uh, you know like in sms or email you would receive it as hello robin this is a shiksha so with this you will come to know okay this particular thing has been sold by shiksha you can't do anything but yeah, it's just to uh you know know from where your data has been stolen that's it nothing else okay so yeah uh that's about data privacy further there are a lot of more uh, awareness tips and all that will be shared with you uh, you know we will we will share with you um, when when the training is happening when your internship is happening and uh, you are one of your responsibility will be to spread awareness because cyber sapiens is basically a awareness based company and we would give you a responsibility of sharing awareness through various various uh, uh, methods we will discuss about that uh, later on coming back to our cyber attack okay so we have seen now cyber attacks are happening we have seen our own data getting stolen you know so who does this cyber attack who who who, who does this these people are called as hackers okay and talking about hackers there are three types of hackers we have black hat gray hat white hat and there is one more type which is called a script kiddie a black hat is a hacker who uses his hacking skill for wrong purpose illegal purpose for for his own benefit a white hat hacker is a hacker who uses his hacking skill for a good purpose in a legal way so i am a white hat hacker i want you guys to become white hat hackers and don't even think about black hat because there is an act in india called as india it act 2000 has per section 66 hacking is a crime okay we will we will teach you about cyber law also during this training 
cyber forensics is also been taught for you during this internship and training you will get to work on live cyber forensic cases as well if you are interested in cyber forensic training will be given for you that's a different thing coming back grey hat hacker is a hacker who who is a confused hacker you can say he can at times use his hacking skill for good purpose or wrong purpose okay so there are three types of hackers and script kiddy is a he's not a hacker is basically a user who is new he just tries to download crack games and you know these type of things and he he, he thinks that is a hacker okay so there are lot of hackers out there uh, you know uh, world top hackers are there in the world uh, so here we will be giving you a task uh, to research on world top hackers and submit a report of any hackers whom you like this is one of the task initial task that will be given for you because uh, you know this this training and this internship is uh, task based okay so we will we will give you task one of you know uh, some of the task will be this why this task is given and the importance of this task is so that you learn about different different hackers you know like if you if you are someone who is in who who likes cricket then definitely you will be following like maybe virat kohli or uh, sachin tendulkar or dhoni you would be following them right you would be watching their videos you would be looking at the lifestyle you would be watch you will be knowing uh, you will be you will be trying to know them better right so same case here even in cyber security you, you understand that you know this this is not a career you know this is your life you are going to be in cyber security domain for your entire life this is going to this is going to give you bread for tomorrow okay i don't consider cyber security as my job i i i have you know uh, this thing is uh, it's it's you know uh, it's my life i would say okay and it's very important that you you know about the different different hackers what they have done and you follow someone so my favorite hacker is kevin mitnick okay so that's uh, that's uh, he is the one uh, uh, who is called as the man behind social engineering and i follow him a lot i i watch his videos and you know uh, i follow him a lot so i want you guys to also uh do research and i'll tell you you will it will open up your mind okay so these are the tasks that will be given one more thing is uh, about hacking groups there are a lot of hacking groups like anonymous we have okay there are a lot of hacking groups which operate and you know they have done lot of hacks like the sony hack is done there's lizard squad group anonymous is one of the top hacking group that exists today and uh, you know if you look at the anonymous videos you will you will get fascinated definitely okay so here again the task is to research on um, sorry uh, world world top hacking groups and submit a report of it so this report that you will submit it to us in a word file we will then ask you to publish it in, on your linkedin profile okay so we will also make you active on linkedin okay uh, using linkedin is one of your task okay that's a continuous task that you have to do you have to use linkedin on a daily basis at least for 10 minutes every day this is one of your tasks that will be given for you okay so please understand the training that we will be providing you the in the, the internship that will be providing you this training this internship is going to be very different it's not going to be like your um, you know uh, school college or other institutions because we are a company and as a company we know what type of training is required today okay we are here to fill that gap okay we are not here to teach you hacking wifi hacking social media and all no that's not in the curriculum at all okay we are here to teach you real time hacking so that you can make it a career okay so um yeah uh, hacking groups hackers are there task will be given for you you can start working if you're already um uh, you know uh, if you have already shared your uh, documents if you have already accepted uh, and interested to join this training and internship that's an intern trainee if you want uh, you can start working on these uh, tasks that are assigned for you trust me you got you will get to know and learn lot of things from this you can just give it a try okay and try to do it with your heart not because someone has said it i'll i'll tell you you will get to learn a lot of things okay so coming back what these hackers will do uh, you know uh, these hackers 
they perform the cyber attack and how they do is with the help uh, one of the thing that they use is malware okay uh, very important what we have to understand is what is malware okay i'm asking this question because many of us have misconception misconception about malware what people think is that malware is a virus okay but it's wrong malware means malicious software okay if you thought malware is a virus it's wrong it is virus is a type of malware okay malware means malicious software based on its categories malwares are defined like we have virus we have worm we have ransomware so ransomware is a type of malware which encrypts the data worm is a type of malware which replicates itself okay we have spyware adware trojan virus all these are types of malware this is very important what we have to understand and at hackers what they do they create malwares and they spread malware and through malware they make cyber attacks okay this is one of the thing that they do all right now coming back again why these cyber attacks and uh, you know uh, data breaches are happening why why is that we are we are seeing uh, so much of uh, cyber attacks that in recent days uh, the cyber attacks have increased a lot so why is that the cyber attacks are happening and the data breaches are happening the reason is because there has been a huge digital transformation we have moved from offline to online okay completely digitalized uh, you know uh, today today's world has become completely digitalized so what happens with this digital or, or the technology so digitalization means use of technology right uh, the technology has a has a glitch has a loophole and this glitch or loophole in cyber security we call it as vulnerability okay so there is nothing like 100% security please remember this there is nothing like 100% security never ever in your lifetime when you are in cyber security domain in your career tell anyone that i can secure you to secure you to 100% never tell that okay no one is 100% secure nowadays companies are going with uh the zero percent security trust which where they are believing that they are they are zero percent secure they don't consider themselves as secure they consider that they are zero percent secure and this makes them you know more secure some if someone thinks that they are they are hundred percent secure they are gone they they will have a cyber attack okay so vulnerability is like uh, uh and entire in your career you will be dealing with uh, with the vulnerabilities as a security expert you have to be knowing about vulnerabilities you will be identifying the vulnerability and you will be working on remediating the vulnerability okay it's like in the medical uh, field uh, doctors um, you know exist because there are vulnerable there are diseases cyber security exists because there are vulnerability just like how doctors find the disease and cure the disease uh we security professionals we find the vulnerability and we remediate the vulnerability that is how cyber security is okay so example of vulnerability is uh it a very uh, for, uh, layman language if you look at this there is no latch there is no lock to the door this is a vulnerability this is a loophole okay and what can happen with this anyone can get in okay anyone can get in without having the need to you know knock or uh, open the lock or something they can directly get in so this is one of the example like you have password for your phone if there is no password for your phone anyone can easily access your phone and open it some of the other example is no antivirus becomes easy for a malware to enter no firewall etc these are some of the examples of vulnerabilities and vulnerabilities are everywhere okay so it could be web application it could be android it uh, in a platform it could be ios it could be servers vulnerabilities are everywhere okay and um, uh, you know there are web application based vulnerabilities there are android based vulnerabilities there are ios based vulnerabilities there are server based vulnerabilities so has a has a intern when you join cyber sapiens when you join us 
okay you will be working for our red team projects now if you don't know about red team red team is a offensive team in cyber security it's a very advanced level team people take years of experience to become an expert in red team you will not be a red team assessor but you will be working for the red team projects because we are providing you an opportunity so that at an early stage you start working for this advanced level profile okay red team is the future okay <clears throat> and uh, has a cyber security intern cyber security intern that will be your role uh, that will be your designation with us you will be a cyber security intern working for the red team projects mm -hmm. okay you will be working on web application security okay you will be working on web application security we will be training you on web application vulnerabilities okay so uh, let's look at the roles and responsibilities so your roles and responsibilities will be first thing is to spread awareness as i said already we are awareness based company and we want you to spread awareness uh, you know uh, we will we will give you certain posters which you have to share you have to take sessions for your school at your college and all you have we will train you for that don't worry okay spread awareness is one thing use linkedin on a daily basis i have told this because linkedin will give you job in today's world okay you have to be up to date on linkedin you have to post your contents that we will ask you to prepare through task on linkedin uh, you have to like pages and join groups related to cyber security on social media uh, read something on a daily basis this will this will be your one of the task you have to read something on a daily basis because see in cyber security you know this is very very different career this is different domain okay it's not like your python or coding and all dot net uh, it's not like that okay here we work on the technology and technology changes every day so if you want to survive in cyber security you have to read daily you have to have the habit of researching if you are not daily updating yourself if you're not researching then you cannot survive it's very easy to enter this career but to survive it's very difficult okay because people don't spend time on reading on on researching and during this internship we will make you we will prepare you in such a way that you know we, basically we are not preparing you for the 6 months okay we are preparing you for your lifetime so by asking you to use linkedin on a daily basis we will make you have you know used to uh, use linkedin today our interns who are there who have you know who are cleared and who are working with companies you know they tell us that earlier they used to use instagram whatsapp facebook you know in the in the morning when they wake up but with this training with this type of training now our candidates they use linkedin okay this is what we are preparing you for we will make sure that you get used to in learning different things and using linkedin apart from that uh, we will be using whatsapp platform there will be a mentor given for you okay there will there is a thc group the hackers club group you have to put whatever you read right daily those contents those articles those links you have to put in the hackers club group okay and others also post so what others post you have to you you can read from there also and you also have to post there okay apart from the hackers club group there is an awareness group where you have to post awareness related contents there is a thc discussion group okay uh, where you can ask questions with the other experts other interns and other experts that are there uh, at any point of time you can you know wake up and it could be 3 o'clock 2 o'clock you can you can put your queries there uh, you have to provide daily update on the activity that you are performing and the knowledge that you have gained in your whatsapp group so there will be an individual whatsapp group apart from these three groups there will be an individual group specially you will be there okay your mentor will be there okay your reporting manager will be there and i'll be there all right so i haven't given my introduction um, i am the founder of this company my name is robin disuza i'll give you more information about me once you join you know once we are onboarded okay so you have to give us your daily update uh, you know during the internship there is no timing as such you can work at any point of time 
whatever task we are giving whatever targets we are giving you have to um, uh, you know um, work on that and you have to give us your daily update because that's how your performance will be evaluated okay so uh, if you want to continue your internship even after 6 months also there's no additional payment for that uh, you you can continue but in order for us to give you the that provision Uh, in order for us to promote you because you you might get promoted in our company itself tomorrow your activity on the group will be checked your performance will be checked we will be evaluating it on a daily basis and you know uh, your there will be rating given for you and you will be evaluated so you have to follow this task you have to uh, do this okay uh, so you will be given with targets as i said real time targets these are okay work on the targets uh targets will be given within one week or two week itself directly you can start working on the targets whatever uh bugs you find whatever vulnerabilities you find on the targets you have to report it to us and for some of the targets we will pay you okay if the target is if the if the target is a prospectus client then we we can't guarantee you any payment um if it is an you know uh, on onboarded client then we will pay you uh for that because as part of our red team services red team assessment service that we provide to our client we charge our client only when we find something on them okay so charges are when you find something when we report they they we we charge the client they pay us and a part of it will be given for you if it is a prospectus client it would depend uh, because we will be involved uh, and, and remember you will be responsible for the end to end activity okay you have to find the threat you have to report it you have to also present it to the client so you this, there will be client facing as well okay so uh, in order for us to ensure that you are uh, you know you have to present to the client so we have to check your communication your english your presentation skills so you have to also take sessions in between okay Th- that will also be your task to take sessions that will also be a task for you okay so uh, coming back you will be given with real time targets these are all real time uh, clients uh, you have to work on them how will you work we have training we will discuss about the training also okay uh, training will be provided for you and uh, from the training we will we will we will teach you about vulnerabilities there are 30 plus vulnerabilities which we will teach you whatever you learn from the you know from the from the training you implement that on real time okay you practice it in our machine we have the hackers club machine we will give access to it you you practice it on the machine and then you implement it in real time okay so that's the benefit that you would get as an intern and uh, you know follow the deadline uh, with the targets or the task update us if extension is required at the end as an intern we want to ensure that you keep yourself updated on a daily basis okay so these are your roles and responsibilities as a intern uh, while you work with our organization there will be training and there will be internship both will be provided as part of the training you will get to learn different things we will discuss about that as part of the internship you will get to work on real time targets you will get experience you will get rewards and awards for that okay so these are your roles and responsibilities so far and uh, we will continue the the next part of the video uh, uh, is in the uh, in in another video uh, i think you already have the access please please watch the next uh, video link and uh, continue with the uh session so this demo we are providing you so that you understand the the um, quality of the training that we will be providing you you understand how the company works how the training will go how the uh, internship will go during this uh, you know uh, video that we are we have provided you uh, we are teaching you lot of things that are included as part of the training okay and um, you will you will get to learn lot of things here and you have your time to decide whether you want to take this uh, opportunity or not it's up to you but if even if you're not taking up also this 
uh, sessions video that we have provided you can you know watch it and you can gain as much no uh, knowledge as possible so that's it for this session please watch the next session where we'll continue with the next topics thank you